MyPitch.com how to cheat the SAT video brought to you by The Wizard. I'm going to be using some magic math to show you how to do this problem without having to do much algebra. So we've already talked in some of the other videos about geometric estimation and about making up numbers. In this video, we're going to be talking about working backwards. So again, when I say cheat, I mean you're going to do something the SAT probably doesn't want you to do, but it's totally legal. So fear not, you can do this on the test. You can get a much better score if you do. So working backwards takes advantage of the fact that this is a multiple choice test. Meaning you don't have to come up with an answer, you just have to tell me which answer is right. So the following question, which is problem 10 on page 640, says, For the equation above, 3x squared is less than 3x quantity squared, for what value of x is this statement false? So rather than trying to like come up with a value, do some algebra, simplify it, we're just going to take these answers and prove which one works. So we're going to start with negative 3. So we put a negative 3 into this, and we get 3 times negative 3 squared is less than 3 times negative 3 squared. And this is going to turn into 27 is less than 81. And that is true, so this answer it does not work. We're going to try 0. We put in 0, and we're going to get 0 is less than zero. Now that seems false because it's not greater than equal to, it's greater than. So that looks pretty good right now. I'm just going to keep checking. I'm going to make sure. We put in one third. We're going to get three times one third squared is less than three times one third squared, which is going to be one third is less than one. That's true. When we put in one, we're going to get three is less than nine. That's true. So we know that these answers are wrong, and since zero did work, that is our answer. Now, when working backwards, normally we would try C first, but since we're just kind of working through which values might be true here, it didn't really matter where I started, but normally we would try C. But the point is, you don't always have to come up with the answer. A lot of times, you can use magic math and just prove which answer is right. So hope to see you over at mindfish.com. We've got many more practice questions, videos, all about making up or working backwards. More videos about the other topics I mentioned, making up numbers and working uh, and estimating. And uh, hopefully this can help you do some hard math questions on your SAT. See you soon. Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.